Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be walking you through creating a Unity project. We're also going to be downloading the ARKit plugin that Unity offers. They are currently in beta 2 as of you know the time of this video. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is we're going to download a git ignore file which I have a link for in the description. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back into Trello. And we're going to move this task create a source control repository to done since we completed last time. And before I add, I add the next, next task to in progress, we're going to create a new task. We're going to call it create a git ignore file. And I'll show you what that is. I'm also going to put a link in the description that has this file so you can get it yourself and download it. So. I'm going to go into it and we're going to copy the text of that file. I'm going to go back into our repository. And I'm going to use Veeam to create the git ignore file. We're going to save that file. And if you do a ls la, then you'll, you should have a git ignore file in there. And why is that important? Is because it's going to allow us to ignore files that we don't need to track in the cloud. So there are files that are in the library folder that are automatically generated by Unity that we don't need to track. So now that we have that, now we can go into our Trello board. We can move that task to done. And we can work on the next story, which is create a Unity project. So to create a Unity project, let's open up Unity. And I'm going to click on new. Let's give it a minute. OK, now we can call it. The project name is going to be AR game. It's going to be 3D. And the location, it's going to be videos AR game. And because Unity is going to create a folder with that name, I'm actually going to go back into videos so that the root is the AR game folder. And everything else looks fine. And then, oh, it looks like there's already a folder. It doesn't like that. So instead of doing that, let's just call this AR game. That's fine. And then create project. And give it just a few seconds. And it's almost done. All right, so now we have a Unity project. So if we go back to source control or terminal, and we do a git status, or if you're using source tree, you can look at, you know, look at the option that is called changes, I believe. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our files to source control, and this is gonna be a commit called initial files. And if we go back into a big bucket. It'll tell you here the first command that you need to do to push your, your changes to the cloud, which is git push dash u origin master. So that tells git that you want to send everything on the last commit to the origin in a branch called master. Now if we go and refresh this page in big bucket, you can see that we have all of our files in there. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to, I want, since we're using source control, we need to make sure that we enable this option. And this option is called the asset serialization. In previous versions of Unity, versions of, you know, previous to 2018, the default option was binary, meaning that you couldn't read those, those files. And it was recommended that we use force text which means that all the, the scene files and the assets are all serializable in text in text so that we can, you know, if we're doing a merge with another team member, we can easily merge the files. So I want to make sure that that is set. And to do that, go into File, actually Edit, Project Settings, and then Editor Settings. And look at as Asset Serialization and make sure that it is set to force text, which it is which is great. So, so that task is completed. And so we're going to close out of this. I, I will also put this link in the description of this video. 
in conjunction with the git ignore text file. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we, we want to download the Unity ARK plugin, which is what we're going to be using to interact with the augmented realities capabilities from our Unity project. So instead of cloning this repository, what I would do is I would just click on downloads. And I'm actually going to go into branches. And I want to download the ARK 2.0 beta version. The reason why I want the 2.0 is because they added vertical and horizontal plane detection. So if you want to, if we want to put a character on the wall, it basically detects where the walls are. And it has a lot more features into it. So I'm going to download a zip file. So I get 14 megs. So that's completely fine. Let's wait until it's downloaded. And we're going to open or download file. And there we go. All right, so I'm going to actually go into my folder. So I'm going to go back into games, videos, AR game, AR game. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually just drop in everything. We don't have anything in the scene, so there's really nothing that we're going to lose. So I'm going to replace all the files in the scenes with all the files from the downloaded package. Now if we go back into Unity, Unity is going to load those files. Let's just give it just a few seconds until everything is imported into Unity. And we're almost done. And now if we go back into a project and we look at we have a folder called Unity AR Kit Plugin. And they actually have some great examples in there that you can you can run from your from your phone. So if we hit play on some of these ones, you won't be able to play them unless you have the Unity remote set up on your phone. And that's something that I'm gonna be doing on the next video is showing you how to set up the Remote, Unity Remote, AR Remote, so that we can run these scenes right from our phones. And what's going to happen is when I hit play, the, this is going to connect to your phone, so the video feed on your phone is going to display here. And why is that helpful? Is because I'm going to be able to add 3D objects on the Unity scene and basically see them in, real, in the real world. So if I'm in my room in my house, I'll be able to place a 3D object in a scene that is relative to where I am looking at through the video feed and basically interact with it. So that's everything for this video. So just to recap, we went and completed and added a git ignore file. We also added our files to source control. And on the next video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Unity remote control.